Hey, this is Hannah, and I'm doing a little bit of a different video. It's more of a speed paint, and just in case you're curious, um, I did this sketch on a whiteboard app with my friends, so that's why I didn't record it, even though it's digital. But, yeah, so I guess a little bit about this particular piece is it's inspired by Poison Love, by Dreamcatcher specifically, um, the, the teasers that came out for the most recent comeback, here they are if you're curious. There are technically seven, but I decided to pick the ones that I got the most inspiration from. But now that the inspiration from this specific piece is kind of, quote, over with, I kind of want to talk about my general process, because I feel like everyone just needs arts, art ideas every once in a while. So... My inspiration doesn't start from one place. It can start from many things. Again, it can literally start about when I'm taking a nap, thinking of animations. But, like, I feel like the more you do art, the more your brain kind of wires to, like, think of ideas. But I get inspired by a lot of my interests. So, like, for example, K-pop is, is something I'm inspired by. Whenever I first started art, I was inspired by Pokemon, so I drew a lot of Pokemon, and oh gosh, I drew some Pokemon today, and yeah, let's just say that my art has seen better days, and I cannot say I've been improving that much on Pokemon. And also something else about art is you need to practice something. You're not going to become perfect. It, it may help if you're better at one thing to transition, but it doesn't mean it's perfect. Even the most famous pieces of art aren't perfect, but I feel like for me, like beyond my interests, like I kind of get it by quote, leaving the house. I know such a scary thing, but also I get it from places like Pinterest and looking at other art because there's a difference between just straight up copying art and seeing like, ooh, someone tried this. I want to try it too. And I am finally finishing the line art. So here's the lovely glorious line art, aka the most boring part of digital art. Google is a very powerful resource, even though you may have to explain why you have surgical tools on your phone. Um, that's not the important part. And I will actually use this as, as an example of kind of how I changed things up from like references. Like you kind of saw, like I do have a similar like kind of coat, but I did add a skirt and I did add these, these surgical things, which were not in, in the original. It was just the blood bags. And then they kind of wanted to go for a more of a poison theme due to their theme of how the words and actions of people are toxic and how people are trying to like solve all the problems of the world but it isn't possible and again your art normally does not ha have to have that much of a deep meaning this is literally just a vampire scientist that is taken inspiration but don't be afraid to explore deeper topics because it is definitely hard but I feel like sometimes when I'm really low, like, I sometimes just draw my feelings, like, because um, something that is a coping mechanism is, is music, so sometimes just listening to a song and drawing what that is, that can help, and why is this turning into therapy with Hannah? But in summary, getting inspiration is more of a skill or, like, a muscle that you have to keep on practicing, like, the more you get inspiration from places the better you're going to get at finding inspiration, the more you're going to think about it on your own time. And sometimes, again, your mental health will be like, what? And just not work. That's totally okay. I mean, it's obviously a different story if you're employed with art that I cannot help you with. But if you're a hobbyist, remember, art is just a hobby. You don't always need to be inspired. Just because you aren't drawing doesn't mean you aren't occupying yourself. You can still, like, branch out. For example, I like doing a bit of editing, which isn't, quote, artistic, which isn't, quote, my style, but it still is something creative that I like to do. So also, don't be afraid to explore creative ventures. Like, I've been working on a lot more painting, a lot more sculpting than I normally do. And, and like, whenever I started art, when I started, like, getting good at digital art, I, like, I kept on doing digital art instead of just branching out. But, yeah... TED talk over, look at my art. And sometimes 
like changing mediums can really help you develop your style and develop what you want to make. Let me know if you like these more speed paint rant videos and I might do a bit more. But yeah, like, sign, comment, but don't forget to tell your friends. Bye! And if you want to see more of my art, go to Instagram. And I think by now I have it in my story highlights for a sketchbook where I put my Pokemon drawings if you want to go look at that before my full sketch vlog is released next week.